Mm. So probably because I am, became a whole, and so I like ethical question. So for you, how much a physician should trust a decision-making algorithm? Uh, who should be blamed for an eventual error in a medical diagnosis and treatment recommendation? Professor Maggio, you, 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 you are the best. When you, <laughs> when you did, the, when you were my chair or my, my president of my PhD thesis, you did a very nice question during my PhD defense. Again, you did a very nice question. On my course, I explained that. I told, I, I put that on my course because that is one of the biggest difficulty because nowadays we have, uh, I don't know, most of you maybe already heard about that. Uh, Google is designing an intelligent car. Uh, so, the, uh, what? Uh, that is a so there is a, a kind of uh, intelligent car. Uh, there were a kind of situation, the car uh, hit someone. It happened. The car hit. It happened really if Google, the car of Google. At least how I heard it. So the point is that you cannot blame an algorithm. An algorithm cannot be responsible for that. So there are other situations where well, in the USA, they were using artificial intelligence for court. Like they were judging. Uh, some simple case as a, as a prototype use artificial intelligence. So they found that most of the data used to train the artificial intelligence was based on, on white people and male, like men and white. So that was, was a kind of prejudice. And so the, so the, the, the question of this module has to do with that. So suppose that the algorithm, uh, your algorithm uh, make a mistake. Uh, suppose that you make your suggestion, please do use this drug and this drug. So how can you be responsible for that? Who will be responsible? Uh, there is no question about that. I just wrote that on my, on my, on my report. I just wrote that part of my report, what Professor Marshall, Marshall asked, like he side my head, like I just wrote that yesterday on my report. I put that kind of a question. I don't know the answer to summarize. I don't know. There is no answer. I participated from several events. I saw that people are not, my opinion, people should talk about that, that they are not talking about that. There is a book I, I, that I mentioned my, on, my, on my course. I, I strongly advise you to follow the course. The, course, the book, I believe, the book is called The Math of Mass Destruction. The book talks about how algorithm is destroying our, our society if you do not do anything about that. Because the algorithm, they are biased if you do not teach them well. The algorithm can be wrong if you do not, if you do not develop them well. And it can be wrong if you do not teach them well, because most of these algorithms based on artificial intelligence, on based on applied math, they need data, they need the models, and they need as well some kind of uh, people keep them updated. So uh, at the moment, one of the biggest, because I, I didn't have time here, I didn't have time here to mention about that because uh, I mean, you, you, I, I ran out, out of time. But when you create a startup, uh, that was one of the topic, the topic I'm trying to talk here. You have two kinds of risk. You have innovation risk and you have market risk. Everything is on the course. What Professor Maggio said is called about innovation risk because you don't know if the algorithm is going to be to work. You don't know if the, if the people are going to use because of, they, they can be afraid if they are going to make a mistake, then they don't trust the algorithm, then they make a mistake, then they, they will not be judged by the judges, but the doctor will be. So that's a challenge. I don't have the answer. Just like you give a kind of your thoughts. Thanks, Professor Maggio. Okay, thank you, George. So there are any other questions? 